two to three good pants. Two to three good pants is all you need. Yet you see some dudes wearing the most, yo, some of the most ridiculous bottoms that I've seen on dudes. They still rock and when you only got to get two to three good ones down and that's all you need in your closet. See, the, your pants is that one area of your outfit where if you find two to three good basics that fit right, you can mix and match the tops all you want and you're going to be looking money, money every day of the week. However, if you're wearing one of the seven pants that I'm going to talk to you about today, yo, you're ruining your style. These, there's no salvaging these seven style of pants. Let's hop into it. Number one, ripped jeans. You heard, you, you heard me right, ripped jeans. Look, I know what you're gonna say. Jose, you're a hypocrite. I can pull out like seven pictures of you wearing ripped jeans. And it's right, I have. But this is the thing. When I say ripped jeans, I'm talking about completely destroyed denim. Denim that's just, it looks like you're a hobo and you're paying $200 for it. See, here's the problem with ripped jeans. Are they a cool staple? Yes. However, they're not versatile. So if you're a dude that's trying to look good consistently, it's much better to opt for a pair of denim that has no major distressing or the distressing is minimal. That way you can wear that jean multiple days a week and people aren't going to realize that it's your only pair of jeans. Number two, track pants that are too tight. Like, yo, what? What is this? I see this at the gym all the time. I can't take the man seriously. They look like jeggings. Your joggers should not be that tight to your leg. I don't know about you, but if you got a decent sized package, that just looks mad uncomfortable. The whole idea with athleisure is that yes, you're supposed to look athletic, but also it's supposed to be comfortable. You need a cut in your track pants or joggers that's nice through the leg enough that it's comfortable and makes you look athletic. That way you could wear it both in the gym to lounge or to go on about with your life. That's exactly the, the type of mentality that I use when I sit down and I design our pieces for essentials. Boys, this November 28th, that's coming, this is our largest essentials drop that we ever do, our Black Friday weekend launch, and we're dropping our new track pants. See, our new track pants are designed with these features in mind. Again, when I design essentials, I design it with all the information, all the knowledge, all the tips that I know, I put everything into every single piece to ensure that when you guys put it on, you're looking your best. And that's when I know I've been successful. And yo, our stuff sells out so fast that I know I'm, I'm getting closer to perfection in this collection, boys. This is it. This is our best yet. And I know I always say that, but you got to understand that we continually push to become better for you guys. We spend more money on R&D, more money on fabrics, more money on the design aspect so you can get a better bang for your buck. This collection, boys, we're dropping our new track. So this thing is money where you can get the track pants separately which fit perfectly or our new oversized crew neck that fits amazing yo this track suit combination this is a classic this is a must in anybody's wardrobe for athleisure we're also dropping our oversized shirts which if you remember yo these sold out in 10 minutes last time well we're dropping it in four new colorways this is made out of, of a hemp cotton blend which is just amazing and another staple for your wardrobe but we're not stopping there this is black friday weekend it's dropping on november 28th at 10 a.m eastern so you know what that means we're gonna do the greatest sale of the year products are gonna be up to 70 percent off we are restocking our most popular items like our hoodies our bomber jackets, our sweatpants, our chinos. These are the items that sell out super quick. We're going to put them up to 70% off for this collection, plus dropping our new pieces, which means, boys, this stuff is going to move crazy, crazy fast. I don't want you to miss it. So grab your phone, put a reminder on your phone, 1128th at 10 a.m. Eastern. That way, when the collection drops, you're the first one there and you don't get to miss out on anything. On top of that, you guys can click the link down below and see our collection now, see the pieces, see the models, use it, and start planning in your head. Yo, what are you going to get? What are you going to get your bro? What are you going to get your brother, your friend, your dad? Because that's right, boys. This is the best time to stock up on pieces and gift it to your friends and family. They're going to thank you for it. Number three, drop crotch pants. I, more, Bro, these are more like no crotch pants because they have so much excess fabric in this area and wh where your bulge should be that it hides any existence of whatever bulge you do have. Not to mention that from the back, you look like a genie with a diaper. There is no respectable way that you could wear these. I, 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 
I can't even, I can't help you. I just can't. Number four, shorts that are past your knee. Yo, bro, the move is seven inch inseams. Anything past seven inches, don't even wear them, don't even buy them. Girls wanna see a little bit of your thigh. They wanna see a little skin. It shows the powerful Goliath quads that you have, that you should have from squatting in the gym. Anything that sits at or past your knee just makes your leg look stumpier and shorter. Number five, boot cut denim. And you might be thinking that it's outdated, but belt cut bottoms have actually been all over the runways. And you're thinking, yo, all these fashion icons are wearing it, I should wear it too. Yo, I promise you, yes, it's a high fashion move right now, but it's just gonna look out of place if you wear it in your suburban town and you're on your day to day. People are gonna be like, what the, what the F is that? Even your crush, there is no way to make these look good. And finally, number six, dress pants that aren't tailored. This is a disgrace, brothers, because you got me. I have been warning you about this for years now. And now that the time has come that you have to dress up and show off, you pull up with the same old pair of slacks that you've been wearing to church oversized that were hand-me-downs from your older brother. Yo, what? It's not even about the price, it's about the tailoring. And I've showed you this with a Walmart pair of slacks. I tailored them down. Yo, they look good as a Hugo Boss pair of pants because they look like they were made for my body and that's what's important. So I don't care if you're getting your dress pants from a thrift store, from Walmart or Hugo Boss. If you're not tailoring them, removing the excess fabric and making sure that it's a sleek silhouette on your leg, you're wearing them all wrong. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, do not forget this Essentials launch. I am telling you, this will be the greatest launch we've done. I don't want you to miss it. That's it for me today. See you next time.